Good afternoon once again and welcome back to Osijek in Croatia. It's another final here at the 2023 European Championships for Shotgun. We've had a wonderful day so far. Just witnessed a fantastic final with the Trap Women and now it's the turn of the men to get underway in the next few moments. My name is Rory McAllister. Hello to you and thanks very much for joining us on the ESC YouTube stream. Feel free to subscribe to the channel, like the videos, make your comments as well. Just keep it all nice and fair. That's how we like it. So weather-wise, let me look at the current conditions. 16 degrees Celsius, much cooler than we've had over the last two weeks. A little bit of wind here and there. You can just see the trees wobbling around in the background. Five meters per second and 100% cloud cover. We have no sunshine here at all here in Ostjek, which certainly has been different from the weather conditions we've experienced since we've been here over the last 15 or 14 days. So eco-friendly target types as normal. 12 gauge shotguns is what's being used here and cartridge shot diameter up to 2.6 and no heavier as well than 24.5. Everything is weighed and checked by equipment control sealed into boxes by the reporting area just behind our uh, behind our scoreboard which you'll see in a second so there's an idea of what one of the shotguns looks like looks like one of the like ones I started with when I was a child back when I was about 10 years old shooting in the countryside of England and the maximum weight up to four four kilos and the lowest bucks don't no higher than that 170 so let's have a look back at qualification here's what happened earlier on today So that was a look back at qualification earlier today. And Guerrero at the top, 125, uh, equaling uh, the European record for qualification. There's quite a few equal world records uh, that go on these days. And then De Filippis and Pelliello of Italy, both on 124. Nothing to separate them. Likewise with uh, Fabrizzi and for uh, Borga of France, all on 123 and then Giovanni Cenagorac, the current world champion, on 122. So will the world champion turn it into a European champion today? Well, we'll have to see how it all unfolds. Uh, here's the reporting area that I was just telling you about a second ago. This is just behind our scoreboard. You can see the back of those screens off to the left. There is uh, Cenagorac, a formidable figure, now 40 years old, incredibly experienced. And I'm sure we'll be hoping for a medal today, as are the other five athletes. So you can see the tubs there as well. That's where the equipment and cartridges is all prepared and sealed. You can see some of the cable ties that have been cut off that are there now on the table as the athletes just make their way to grab the cartridges and the ammunition and now make their way over to the field of play. So at any moment now, we'll be ready to get underway. Checking the weather forecast, that we had a look at that a second ago. 16 degrees at the moment. As Ivona Plasic makes her announcements, she's announced every single one of the finals so far, both in Skeet and also in Trap Junior. But at the moment, it's cooler than it has been over the last two weeks. And some overcast conditions as well. But it hopefully should keep the mosquitoes and bugs away. Because if you've been here to Oshek or you've seen some of the other finals, then... You'll know that we've all been bitten alive. Well, I certainly have. So now getting underway with the introductions. And Sebastien Guerrero of France, 36 years old now. Two World Cup gold medals. So brings medal calibre to the field of play today. And out comes Mauro de Filippis with that recognisable strut. 43 years old now. Four times a gold medalist at World Cups. And also has a gold trap mix team from the World Championships last year. And Giovanni Pelliello of Italy, the most experienced, you'd have to say. 53 years old now. Silver medalist at Athens, Beijing and at Rio at the Olympic Games. 
So that's the kind of calibre he brings to this shotgun range today. Massimo Fabrizzi, 46 from Italy, is the London 2012 silver medalist and a two-time world championship gold medalist. So youngest competitor in this final, 23-year-old Clement Borgat. who was a world champion as a junior. That was back in 2017. Has other medals since. And look how confident Giovanni Czernogorac is as he comes out to join the rest of the athletes. London 2012 Olympic gold medalist. A gold medalist in Baku earlier this year at the World Championships and many other medals. So Bodo Giske of Germany is our jury in charge and another man who's never without a smile is Muhammad Goklametlu of Turkey he'll be our ref so that's the presentations done and dusted now we just get on with the test fire which is just a chance for each of the athletes just to get out there onto the finals range and like that you'll see De La Fippis just holding out his arm and just practicing some sight lines as well. So here's how they line up then. Sebastian Guerrero of France. Mauro de Filippis of Italy. Giovanni Pelliello, also of Italy. Massimo Fabrizzi completes the Italian trio. And Clement Borga of France. And finally, the world champ, Giovanni Cernogorac of Croatia. Well, what a tasty final this is. It may be the European Championships, but you'd have to say this is a world-class field. I think this could go anyway. Jose Bladas of France. With some of the thickest ear defenders I think I've ever seen. Still, it's good to wear them. Over the years, it can take its toll. Volta Cernogorac, who is the father of Giovanni. Me, personally, I could never have my own dad as a coach. I'd be a disaster. So I do wonder if we'll need the towels today. Hopefully the rain will stay away. We have checked the forecast, 16 degrees, and there shouldn't be any rain at least over the next hour or so. We're hoping to get away with the medal ceremonies as well and keep those nice and dry. But we, This is shotgun shooting, so we are open to the elements. So if you have just joined us, then welcome. Good afternoon to you. Local time here. In Croatia, it's just gone 4 p.m. in the afternoon. And the Trap Men final at the European Championships 2023 is about to get underway right now. There we go. So here's Mauro de Filippis. Mario Conti is the Italian coach. And the first miss of this final from Giovanni Pelliello. So no target for Fabrizzi. So European champion from 2016. It'd be amazing, wouldn't it, if seven years later now he could repeat that feat and become European champion once again. So this is Clement Borger. Sixth in the World Championship. Last year here in Osijek. And also a former junior world champion. So no target for Czernogorac. That just gives you an idea of how long he's been around. European champion from 2012. Now 11 years later. Can he do it again? So 
So just to say, each athlete will get five targets. And then another five, another five, another five, till we get up to 25. That's when we'll have the first elimination. And then we'll have eliminations every five targets up to 40. And then between 40 and 50, that's when we'll be deciding the gold and silver medal. And if it's tied after 50, then we can go to a shoot-off, but only for the gold medal decision. Another no target. Each coach has one VAR request as well. And if that's successful, they can carry one more forward. But if it's unsuccessful, then they lose any further right to make a VAR request. We haven't had any so far today. That's another no target. We've seen quite a few of these over the last fortnight here in Croatia. And once again, that's... Now, oh, this is frustrating. So the referee just testing it twice this time, and maybe even three times. So hopefully now, Giovanni Pelliello of Italy will actually get to shoot at something. Oh, would you believe it? So the ref seems happy enough. I mean, he's just called for a few test clays there, and I'm just looking out of the window from the view I've got. I can't quite see the firing position, but it looked to me, again, like some of those test clays actually came out of, as dust as well. So it looks like there's going to be an inspection down in the bunker here. And I think around firing position three here is where we've seen most of the problems with some of the clays and some of the trap machines. There's been quite a few no targets, not only called today in the women's trap final, but also just in the junior competitions and we had a few problems here and there in skeet as well, mostly with the low house. The high house seems to have behaved itself. So as it stands, if you are just joining us here for the Trap Men final here at the European Championships, live from Osijek, welcome to you. A couple of athletes on two hits, that's Guerrero and De Filippis. Pelliello has actually tried to shoot, I think it's four times, and four times and no target was called. Just looking at Giovanni Cerigolac, 40 years old from the home nation of Croatia. It would be amazing for him today to get a medal. Croatia still, I think, without a medal so far as the home nation here at the European Championships for shotgun. So Marco Conti, that's the Italian coach just looking on. Meanwhile, our referee, Mahama Gotlemetu of Turkey, you can just see there, is just overlooking things on the third position. And that clay seems to have come out OK. And that one. So frustrating moments, not only for the finalists, but for you watching back home, or wherever you are. I don't know, you might be on a bus, for example. Could even be on a train. But wherever you are, you're more than welcome at joining us here live from Osijek in Croatia. Right, so I think the shot clock's been reset to 12 seconds. So I think finally the three-time Olympic silver medalist can now get on with some shooting. Here's hoping. They say fingers crossed. I, I've always been a big believer of eyes crossed because it's funnier. But I suppose 
when it comes to shotgun shooting or any type of shooting, crossing your eyes isn't going to get you anywhere, is it? So I'm hoping that signal doesn't mean that there's some sort of malfunction with the microphone. No, here we go. Giovanni Pelliello seems to be settling in. Oh, no. <laughs> Would you believe it? Another no target. So Pelliello resets. I'm sure he'll be thanking himself for how experienced he is because this is a disappointing show so far. But patience required. Hopefully everything will get put back to normal. He's just realised he's on the main screen <laughs> eating away. You always got to keep your wits about you. Who knows when our cameras will select you for the big screen. And finally, there we have it. <laughs> oh, just superb. Brilliant. Uh, the crowd is just reacting like Pelliello's just won a gold medal. Fantastic. Finally, the clay comes out of the trap and it's a hit for the Italian. A wonderful moment. Patience has paid off. Fabrizzi, meanwhile, also has a hit, as does Borga of France. Here's the homeboy. Here's Chernogorac. Is it a hit? Yes, it is. Tosses that empty cartridge into the basket with real aplomb. So, hopefully now we can just pick up a bit of pace now in this trap final. Guerrero on three out of three so far. De Filippis also with three out of three. Surely Pelliello isn't going to get called another no target. No, he doesn't. It's released down the middle and it's a hit. So out of the five targets, one goes down the middle, two to the left and two to the right. Just at varying heights and angles. And it's a randomised sequence. And technically I suppose it is possible to try and memorise everything, but it would... You'd be there for weeks and days and months. No target called. There's Hamish McInnes, who's the head of GB Shooting, alongside the European Shooting Confederation president, Mr. Alexander Ratner, who's in the middle. Great shot from Mauro de Filippis. with a miss. Painful. <laughs> Great shot from Borga. No targets. So Giovanni just composes himself again. In that real familiar high rise of the shotgun, lowers the cheek position into the into the shot, and that's four in a row for the Croatian. A wonderful performance so far in the early stages of this trap men final. Oh, and that's a first miss for Guerrero. Dave Philippis now can make it five out of five, and I'm not surprised that he does so. And that's three out of five for Pelliello of Italy. And for Britzi with a 
tricky target off to the left. Misses that one, so four out of five. Here's 23-year-old Clement Borger. And nice to see the president of the Croatian Shooting Federation along today. Welcome, sir. Five out of five for the Frenchman. So here's the homeboy. And that's a great shot from Chernogorac. So also now on five. So we've got three athletes tied at the top as we move on to the next set of five targets. Mauro de Filippis is a real machine when you watch him and when it comes to constant hits like this. He's just so good. So another no target, but at least we've had a sequence of targets that have been released. Would be good though if we could complete the rest of this final without any more. Great shot from Borger right down the middle. Gorach smashes that one to pieces. And a miss this time from Guerrero. He's locked on five out of seven. So a VAR request. So we do have our first VAR request of the day and of this final. So Kostakis Xenophontus of Cyprus is the VAR referee. And Christophe Bouch of France is the jury in charge of VAR. So Sebastian Guerrero, 36 years old, two-time World Cup gold medalist. And I'm not quite sure if he signalled back to the coach, but certainly it did seem that Jose Bladas was pretty quick to raise the VAR card. It looks to me like he's missed it. And you just see Christophe Bouch nearest the screen in the picture-in-picture, picture, the smaller part of your... Left hand to your screen and Kostakis Xenophontus. That clay to me looks intact. They're winding it back anyway. I think just trying to see whether or not there was just a clip. And you can just see it just got away. I mean, I'm not a, a VAR referee or VAR jury, but it's certainly looking to me like it's a miss. But we'll wait for the official decision. And here it comes. And there we are. Thumbs down. So like in the gladiatorial arena of the Roman Empire. A thumbs down this time means it's a miss for Sebastian Guerrero. And now he loses his right to another VAR request. De Philippis, meanwhile, has composed himself the whole way through just waiting and just so confidently smashes another clay as does Peliello. It's 46 year old Massimo Fabrizzi, silver medalist at the London Games. So that's a miss from Borga. And Gorach with the miss. So just say, so if, if you can hear a humming or a buzzing coming over my microphone, I think it's the heating system here that's kicking in and perhaps the generator's making some noise. I'm not quite sure if you can hear it or not, but just apologies for that if you can.
So De Villapis so far without a miss. Has eight out of eight. Pelliello, meanwhile, six out of eight. Fabrizzi, seven out of eight. Borga, also on seven. Chenegorac, can he also notch up to seven? Great shot, does so. Wonderful shot from the 40-year-old. No target for Guerrero. And there's Zoran Celic, competition manager. Wearing a suit today. Must have official duties. Normally, you can often see Zoran just sporting a casual polo shirt. But very much looking the part today. So De Filippi is still without a miss. Great shooting from the Italian. And no target for Pelliello. Great shot though, just after another delay. If you are just joining us then, a few moments ago Giovanni Pelliello I think had something like seven no targets called. And we had many test ones and eventually when the clay did release from the trap and Pelliello made fine work of it, the crowd just went berserk, clapping along <laughs> as if he'd just won the gold. So Chenogorac once again after a no target with his father, Volta, looking on. Oh, another no target. So our ref, Muhammad Gokmaladu of Turkey, comes over just to investigate once again, calls into the mic, making the call. And you just see with his little handset there, buttons just... Those buttons are able to signal hit or indeed miss. If you hit the miss button then obviously it was no hit. And you can hit the back button as well to move things backwards. Once again, Chela Gorac being very patient here, even though I he's clearly not happy about this. Well, it's a difficult situation to deal with, isn't it? But your experience kicks in. He seems to remain remain calm and you just get on with the job in hand. No target called. And even just with Chernogorac just turning to the left there. Just has to be careful. And I think the frustration now really is kicking in. I did wonder just a few seconds ago, just the look on his face as well. So if you are joining us, welcome along to this trap men's final. We've got more problems, I'm afraid. About 10 or 15 minutes ago, there was so many no targets called for Pelliello. And there was an inspection, inspection of the machine down in the bunker and jury and refs involved. And now the crowd's having to be patient as well. There's Jessica Rossi just sitting there, just leaning forward. And has achieved so much in the world of, of shooting. It's incredible. So Czernogorac on his home patch here in Osijek in Croatia just stands patiently waiting. There's Pelliello. He knows exactly how he feels because this happened to him about 10 or 15 minutes ago.
So the jury and the refs just making the inspections. There's a test clay I've seen has just been fired, so they're trying to get things back underway as soon as possible. Feel free to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Why not? You can also like the videos as well. Feel free to make some comments, show your support. Just keep everything nice and fair and polite. That would be great. And if you do subscribe, then it just means that the future finals will pop up for you and it's also easier to watch some of the other finals back at a later date. You can also go to the European Shooting Confederation website where you'll find all the details for social media and you can follow on social media platforms to keep fully up to date with everything that's happening. Just a bit like what, what's going on here here in front, front of us. People on their smartphones watching along on YouTube and I'm sure scrolling through the European Shooting Confederation Instagram channel. So as you can see on your screens, we're just having to be a little bit patient here in Oshek because we've got technical issues, again with the traps down in the bunkers. Now there's 15 machines down there. There's three, three machines for, per firing point. And just today, we've particularly in the men's final rather than the women, we've just seen too many targets that have just exploded before they've been released, or certainly you know, released it into the air and up into the field of play. So I wonder what's going through the mind of the current world champion, Giovanni Cernogorac, 40 years old. Let's just have another look at some of his medals as well. It's an incredible record, really. One Olympic gold, one World Championship gold, two World Cup final golds, four World Cup gold medals, one gold medal at the RSSF Grand Prix, and one European Championship gold medals. And that's just the golds. He's got silver medals three times at World Cups, a bronze medalist five times at World Cups, also at the World Championships, World Cup final and twice a bronze medalist here at the European Championships. And of course that includes some junior medals and also some team medals as well. So we're just trying to get these technical issues sorted out and get this final underway. Just looking at, at Giovanni Pelliello as well. Let's have a closer look at his record over the years. 53 years old now. Four World Championship gold, seven at a World Cup final, ten at a World Cup, and four at European Championship level. That's incredible. As now it looks like we're about to resume. World champion Giovanni Cernogorac, 40 years old, representing his home nation here of Croatia, here in Osijek on seven hits so far and after much disruption misses that one painful moment for this Croatian athlete Guerrero meanwhile up to eight De Filipis without a miss so far and hits that one he's looking very strong today Pelliello, all five in a row. Can this third Italian also make it five in a row? That's a miss there for Fabrizzi. Borga with a hit. Nine. Cianagora, I should say, really would like to hit this in order just to stay with the others and does so. Great shot. Cracking. 
And a big applause from the crowd as well. So it's been a disrupted final so far, but we do have a clear leader. Mauro De Filippis of Italy. No surprise to me, he's been in great form this year. And 10 out of 10 so far. The others still close in the pack. Clement Borger on nine, the rest on eight. So we're already underway again. 43-year-old Mauro De Filippis lowers in again, and that's his first miss of this final. He had 10 in a row, and has missed that one. So this is when really the final just starts to take shape in terms of hits and misses because we're now over the double figure mark and over the next 15 targets we'll head towards the first elimination. That will come after 25 targets, that for sixth place. So a couple of no targets for Fabrizzi. Our referee has been a busy man today. This is Moama Gotlemetlu of Turkey. So Clermont Borger, this is to tie for the lead and get to double figures because De Philippis missed his and great shot from the Frenchman. The youngest in this final, 23 years old, now tied with De Philippis on 10. So Fabrizzi now gets into the double figures. He's now also on 10. And Borger makes it another hit. So it's now with De Filippis on 11 hits. Crowd showing their appreciation for Czernogorac representing the home nation here in Croatia. Croatia without a medal so far in the European Championship, so I'm sure the home crowd will be willing Chernogorac to a bronze, silver or gold. Still pretty close, this men's trap final, as that clay just skeets away. So Borga with another hit, now on 12, just keeping the pressure on De Filippis of Italy, who's also on 12 hits. <laughs> Such a big guy as well as Mauro De Filippis. Shotgun almost looks too small for him, doesn't it? So no target for Fabrizzi. Marco Conti can't believe it. I think that reaction just says it all. Can't lip read in Italian, but I think I've got a good idea of what he's just said. And 
great shooting from Borgart on 13. They say is unlucky for some, but I've never really been a big believer in superstitious hocus pocus like that. So Guello with five out of five. <laughs> Dave Philippis smashes that one to notch up to 14. <laughs> oh, that was unlucky for Fabrizzi. A miss, otherwise it would have been five out of five. Can Borger turn this one to powder? Just misses. Was just underneath that one by the looks of things. And it's on 13. So De Filippis of Italy will be our clear leader. So now rotation for the next set of five targets. I don't think these chaps are going to hang around. Just going to get straight on with things. So it's De Filippis of Italy who leads in terms of at the moment that yes they're both on 14 but he's now shooting and has gone to 15 oh and a miss from Pelliello right on the button of the straight margin there great shot from for Britzi. And no target for Borgert of France. Uh, miss for Guerrero. Crucial at this stage because we're sort of literally now staring down the barrel of the next elimination, which comes after 25 targets. So interesting how this is unfolding. Guerra on 14, Fabrizzi on 14, Borga, will he stay on 14 or move on? That was a no target. Pelliello, you would say as well, has to pick up a few hits here and there in order to stay with the others. And Jose Balalas. I think he's also showing his disgust with what's happening with these no targets. <laughs> so after all that, that's a hit nonetheless for Borgo. And terrific shot and reaction times from Chernogorach up to 15 hits now. <laughs> terrific shooting from De Filippis, three in a row. No target. <laughs> so 
So for Bitsy with three in a row. And that's a miss for Borger. So just with the lead now slipping away, going more in De Filippis' favour. As Chernogorach just turns on the pressure, it's up to 16 hits and is within one hit of the Italian. Here he goes to try and stay in the lead. Oh, that's <laughs> just incredible. The reaction time's incredible. And they say 0.7 of a second is the ideal reaction times. If you can just imagine reacting that quickly to something, it's like trying to swat a fly or something, but at the same time, obviously, you've got a shotgun, you've got to try and hit the clay. Great hit from Pelliello. Just staying in this, just there or thereabouts. Fabrizzi with four hits in a row, 16. And terrific shot for Borger off to the left. Down the middle for Chernogorac. So Guerrero on 16. Wearing bib number one. That's certainly in his favour at the moment. But it could all change if Fabrizzi and Borga make a hit, or either of them do. Pelliello now with a hit will mean again as we move into the next phase of this final we'll have our first elimination after 25 targets but it is just starting to take shape a little bit and Borg has missed that one so we now have three athletes all on 16 interesting Oh, short work of that and blam. Guerrero with a hit. Next five targets for each athlete will determine the first elimination. So Peliello can get a total of 21, as can Guerrero, a maximum, as can Fabrizzi, he can get up to 22, and Borga with five hits can only manage 21, so interesting how this is going to develop over the next few shots. Now there is a quota place available during this final for the Paris Olympic Games 2024. De Filippis, Peliello and Chernogorach all have a quota place already. So the quota place is available for Sebastian Guerrero, for Massimo Fabrizzi and from Clement Borga of France. shot from Chernogorach. That clay was rising high. Quite a steep angle. Oh. 
So another no target called in this final. He must be well into double figures. Maybe even over the 20s for no targets. So for Britzy, another hit. Oh, now on 19. Fabrizzi in second place with Chonal Gorach still to shoot now. So tied for second place at the moment. And hits that one up to 20. Chonal Gorach has really just started to crank it up over the last 10 targets or so. So Borger of France can reach a maximum of 21 targets. Just need to keep our eye on that one, wearing bib number five. Great shot way out to the left from Fabrizzi. And a miss from Borga. So Borga's not quite out of things yet, but will be. Should Guerrero hit this one, and he does so. So that's 20. Fabrizzi's also on 20. Pelliello, meanwhile, also has to try and get to 20 in order to survive and does so so now it means that Borga of France will be the first elimination because there'll be a tie for 20 if he does get there of course he's still on 18 he's up to 19 now but it'll be decided on bib numbers and therefore, with Clement Borga with the lowest bib number, it means he'll be eliminated. But we still have one target each per athlete before we reach 25 targets. So Sebastian Guerrero has now received the Olympic quota for Paris 2024 on a total of 21 hits. So that's a nice bonus for today. Oh, and for Britzy, just shy of that one. Clay escapes down the middle, stays on 21. Borga, meanwhile, was looking pretty, sh he was looking strong over the first. 10 to 15 targets. It's just started to slip away for him over the last 10 or so. That's a cracking shot from the world champion. So we have our first elimination from this final, leaving us in sixth place. 23 year old Clement Borga of France, former junior world champion, and made it through to the final and leaves in sixth place. So Mauro De Filippis of Italy. No surprise really to see a man of his stature at the top. Meanwhile, the world champion Cerna Gorac just behind on 23 hits from 24 for the Italian. And then the remaining three, the chasing pack, all on 21 hits after 25 targets. The next five targets will decide fifth place. So here we go again, another five targets, which will lead to another elimination. Guerra with a hit, 22 now. De Felipe has been shooting so well, it's no surprise he's in the lead. And there's another hit for him.
And Peliello just off with that one. Clay just just got too high for him and raced off. Still staying within one hit of Dave Philippis. Here is Malro, 43 years old now. He's a gold medalist at the Trap Mixed Team World Championships last year. He's also a World Cup final gold medalist as well. That was in 2019. Man. So 45 no targets have been called just in this final alone. Uh, that's not only the ones that are called, but I think also with some of the other tests. But I said we were well into double figures, and I knew we were certainly over 20 or 25, but 45 is the number. Still doesn't deter Mauro de Filippis. 26 now. Peliello, has that just raced away again? It has. Two misses in a row for the Italian. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's a cracking shot from Fabrizzi. Chelagorak's just not quite ready. So that's his father, Volta Czernogorac, Croatian coach. <laughs> so Czernogorac still within one of this man right here, Mauro de Filippis of Italy. It's just so clinical when he gets going. No target for Peliello. So I do wonder if we'll get to 50 no targets. I think it's certainly possible. Not that we're certainly trying for that. That's It's not a goal by any means. It's just highly likely with the way things have been going. So no target. There's another... I think that makes 47 no targets. Certainly around that figure. And it's very disruptive to the athletes. Also, you know, for you watching at home or wherever you are joining us for this track men's final, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel as well for the ESC and that way you'll reach and get notifications for future finals and all the other content that we've brought to you. Meanwhile we're live here now from Osijek in Croatia as Maro de Filipis once again shows no signs of missing a target. That's a great shot from Guerrero. Five in a row. And you just saw the middle of that target just explode. A nice equal display of dust. It's 
So Pelliello now will find himself out of this final. Only managing a total of 23. I think that was decided a few shots ago, really, in all honesty. Trying to go actually, though, to stay within one of the leader. And is that a hit? No. Shot. Oh, it's another no target. So De Filippis on 29. Can Chona Gorac stay within one? And he can. <laughs> Terrific shooting. The Croatian crowd will absolutely love that. 28 hits for the world champion to stay within one of the leader. <laughs> Meanwhile, Giovanni Pelliello will leave in fifth place. 53 years old now. Three times an Olympic silver medalist in trap. And leaves today in fifth place. Mauro De Filippis now on 29 hits. The world champion just staying right on his coattails on 28. Sebastian Guerrero and Massimo Fabrizzi both on 26. After 30 targets, we now take another five and we'll decide fourth place. No target. Um, I think even Dave Philippus is finding this amusing, I think. It was just a, a slight wry, sh wry smile. Was that our 50th? No target. Uh, but it's a hit after that slight disruption. Just shows his class and composure. Brilliant hit from Fabrizzi. Gorlach now knows what's needed. And that's for De Filippis to miss and for him to hit, but he stays within one. De Filippis the first to reach 30. So for Britzi, maximum total of 31. So it's looking dodgy for Massimo for Britzi. He really now need some of the others to start missing right down the middle so each athlete knows that even though it's a randomized sequence you do get one shot down the middle you get two to the left and one and two to the right just at varying degrees of of angles and heights So Guerrero can get to a maximum of 30 targets. That's 28. So Fabrizzi, in order to stay in this, obviously needs to keep on hitting, but really needs Guerrero to slip up. I mean, you never really know, though, with shotgun shooting. I mean, it's unlikely that Jonah Gordach here, the world champion, is going to miss all three, but of course anything's possible. That's a great shot, really good. And the crowd applaud, they know how difficult that was. The world champion just made it look so easy. Philippus, meanwhile, is on a mission. 33 so far. An almost perfect performance from the Italian. So if Guerrero misses here, this is how it can change and spin round, you see. Even though Guerrero is wearing bib number one, he needs this hit. And... He needs Fabrizzi to miss because if Fabrizzi manages to get to 31, so I think we're over 50 no targets now. And 
And once again, it's happened to Dave Philippis, who's on 33 hits. But let's face it, the leading total at the moment is no target because, <laughs> yeah, I wish there was an athlete called no target. He'd be over 50. Oh, Fabrizzi's furious. Look at the disappointment, the stamping of the foot. He knows that that miss is so crucial. Marco Conti, the Italian coach as well, just looks on as the world champion. Five in a row for Cernogorac to stay within one of De Filibis. But Marco Conti also disappointed that we've got our next elimination. And it's another one of the Italians. It's Massimo Fabrizzi who just misses a medal with that miss at the end. He just got a hit, then we would have been saying goodbye to Sebastian Guerrero, who already has a quota place for Paris 2024. Marco Conti having a word, but that's all history now. So here are the medalists. We know it's De Filippis, Chernogorac and Guerrero, but it's just now just a case of who gets what. Saying that, Sebastian Guerrero, three behind the world champion, Giovanni Chernogorac, the home nation of Croatia. Croatia have their first medal in the home nation at these European Championships, so well, that's great news for them. Meanwhile, Italy, will it be another gold for this incredible Italian squad that have come here to Osijek in Croatia? So Guerrero with a hit. Next five targets decides the bronze medal. So Chernogorac just taking some time here. He'd love to get a gold medal, wouldn't he, here today? He'd be a world champion and a European champion if that was to happen. And Delefipis has missed and Chernogorac has levelled up at 34. So these two titans of trap shooting, who are two shots in front of Guerrero. Right now it really is Italy versus Croatia for the moment because Guerrero needs to catch up and if the other two keep hitting won't be able to oh great shot from Chernogorac I think every hit now I think surely is going to get a round of applause and cheering and whooping from the Croatian crowd who have gathered here in Osijek. Mauro de Filippis. Only a few misses in this final. Makes again it looks so easy. Chenikolach just taking his time because there's been a bit of a pace despite the disruptions in this final. The certainly around targets ten to twenty this final really was moving at a fair old speed. <laughs> oh, pressure. It almost looked like a heart, didn't it, as it exploded there. Guerrero on 33. Is that a hit? Yes, it is. 34. So I can get to a maximum of 35. So the bronze medal is confirmed. And De Filippis has a no target called. Quick wipe of the hands on the towel. And again, <laughs> he's finding this, I think, just <laughs> slightly amusing that that we've had so many no targets called. There's another. It's been one of the longest finals we've had, just purely because of technical difficulties, interruptions. These trap machines just refuse to behave. So Mauro de Filippis of Italy now settles in once again. He's performed so well in this final so far. And just makes it look again so easy world class stuff Chernogorac now of Croatia in his home nation taking his time and he's really taking his time this, this time oh, 
Oh, terrific shot because early on in this final, that's I think where Chenegorich is now just paying for that ever so slightly. There was a few dodgy shots for him in the early part of this final. And De Filippis just started to, to run away with it. But Chenegorich then just got within a couple of shots and has managed to hang on in there. And now he's within one with Chenegorich now still to shoot. So this would make it level going into the gold and silver m medals. And I think that's what everybody wants. We want to see a, a competitive final as possible. And that's a terrific hit. And that's his father, who shows no emotions for the moment, but I'm sure is very proud of what his son is doing in his home nation of Croatia. So the bronze medalist, it's confirmed, goes to France. And with the quota place already sealed and guaranteed earlier on in this final, Sebastian Guerrero, 36 years old, has a bronze medal here at the European Championships here in Croatia. So after 40 targets, it's neck and neck almost. Maro de Filipis on 38 and Chernogorac also on 38. So nothing to separate them. And over the next 10 targets, we will decide gold and silver. Essentially now it's more a question, I think, of not only who misses the most, that's obvious, but who misses first really. So De Filipis with another hit. Pressure once again now on the Croatian. World champion. Can he become European champion? Oh, just sheer class. Wonderful. It's almost a sigh of relief from Volta Cernic Gorac, maybe. Malro settles in again. Oh, he's just an absolute joy to watch, isn't he, sometimes? So clinical, so good. Meanwhile, although every shot is a pressure shot, I'd say there's more pressure on Chernogorac here because Croatia have their first medal. It could be a gold, as long as he keeps hitting and perhaps then Filipis misses, but both over the last 10 to 15, 20 targets have just been so solid. No target once again. Two coaches, Marco Conti on the left. Volta Cernogorac on the right. Philippis now on 42. This is for Chernogorac to level up. Oh, do you know what? I just thought he was just shy of that, but it's a hit nonetheless. Almost right in the centre of the target. So De Filippis only with two misses so far. Chona Gorac still to shoot, of course. Real pressure now on this Croatian world champion. Oh, what a shot once again, off to the right and in the centre of the target. He knew that it was going to be off to the right because he'd had two to the left, one in the middle. And that last one was to the right and then the final one also. So De Filippis on 44 out of 46, only two misses for the Italian. Once again, pressure swings back to Giovanni Cianagorac. 
the wipe of the hand and that familiar just adjustment of his vest on his right shoulder, his shooting shoulder. Great shot. So was that that was a, a no target called then was it? I wonder what the world record is for no targets. Just wondering whether or not we should <laughs> we should actually start a stat because we're well over fifty. Yes, five zero. Over fifty in terms of no targets. So the daylight just starts to fade here. It's already been an overcast day and thankfully we're into the final stages of this trap final because the daylight of course does come into play when you're shooting outside. Oh, that's just world class from the world champion. And De Philippis once again with a wry smile. I think he's enjoying this and I'm sure enjoying this competition because this would be a good scout for him in order to become European champion and take that not only from Chernogorach but also in front of his home ground. I think the stands would erupt if Chernogorach were to win. And that's no target. And as I said earlier, I think it was more a case of who will miss first between these two because in terms of hitting their hits have been phenomenal great shot from Chernogorach this is real edge of your seat if you've literally just come into this final we're into the gold and silver medal stages of the trap men final live from Osijek in Croatia at the European Championships and Dave Philippis has missed. Could this be the turn of the tide for the world champion Giovanni Cernogorac? It means De Philippis has now missed only three targets in this trap final but now a moment for the Croatian to go in front, in front of his home crowd. Oh, and he's missed two. Drama here in Osijek in Croatia. It's, oh, it's a no target. It's a no target for Chernogorac. So a bit, a bit of reprieve, a bit of reprieve for the world champion. And another no target. Are we up to 60? Who knows? We might be. Is there or thereabouts? I think Chernogorac is just really now calling on all his patience. You can just tell, can't you, from his body language. He's just like, stay calm, stay relaxed, stay focused. Mauro de Filippis has only missed three targets in this entire final. Meanwhile, Giovanni Chernogorac now is invited to step forward after the last two no targets to now take his shot and go in front for the first time in this final. Is this what will decide the gold medal? And it's no target. So Chenegorac's chance to go in front is once again scuppered. There is still another two targets to come, of course, after this one. So it's not over yet, but is this the moment where silver becomes gold. We'll find out in the next few minutes. Chenegorac, big high rise of the shotgun, settles in. And what a shot! What a shot from the world champion! After such a frustrating final, he goes in in front for the first time. And pressure now on Maro de Filippis and He's just shot so well. And if he doesn't take the gold, 
because it can only now go to a shoot-off if Chernogorach was to miss this target coming up right now. Oh, he's done it! What a moment! What a moment for the world champion! He's now the European champion! And it's hugs all round here in Osijek in Croatia. And he's going to get lifted aloft. <laughs> he's a big guy. And I think they're struggling just a little bit. But Giovanni Cenegorac, 40 years old, is being... <laughs> well, I don't know where he's being carried off to, but it's certainly not over to the centre in order to be presented with the announcement that he is the gold medalist and the European champion. <laughs> Well, we're almost inventing a brand, new, a brand new event here, and that's carry the gold medalist as long and far as you can. 48 hits out of 50, a big blow and sigh of relief. This 40-year-old Croatian has done it in front of his home crowd, and I'm sure even there, Maro de Filippis of Italy, what more could he do? I think even he is pleased for Cernogorac. They shake hands. Once again, a battle between these two titans. And what a finish here. A great performance from Maro de Filippis. Only three misses, but it wasn't quite enough. The Croatian just did it by one to get to 48 hits. So now the official presentation of the medalist. The bronze medalist, here he is, representing France. Sebastian Guerrero. Shotgun above his head. What a moment. And Maro de Filippis. One of the tallest men in trap shooting, 43 years old. I think found that final really amusing at times. Raises his shotgun up. What a performance. Normally, 47 hits, it would be enough to win a gold, let alone a European Championships. But it's silver for the Italian. And what a smile. Absolute delight, not only for the Croatian crowd, I'm sure for you at home as well, because if you're a fan of trap shooting, that was... One of the, A, the most frustrating finals you maybe ever seen, but one of the best as well. And a big sigh from Giovanni Chodogorac, who came here as world champion and is now the European champion. Now, let's not forget the efforts of Sebastian Guerrero, not only with the bronze medal, also with that vital quota place for Paris 2024 as the countdown to Châteauroux continues for next summer. The Olympic Games will be here in a jiffy, as we would say, back in Britain. So there it is, all confirmed. Uh, Clement Borger of France was sixth. Giovanni Pelliello, fifth. Massimo Fabrizzi in fourth place. Sebastian Guerrero of France with the quota place and the bronze medal. Then Maro de Filippis pushed Czernogorac all the way to the end. A silver medalist, another medal for Italy on 47 hits. And what a performance from the world champion with the gold medal in front of his home nation here in Croatia. 48 hits. The world champion is now also the European champion. So wonderful scenes now we're witnessing. There's Zoran Celic, the competition manager, who I'm sure must have an official duty coming up since he's sporting that suit. And I think after one of the longest finals, well, I've certainly witnessed, um, don't know exactly what the final total was for the no targets, but it's got to be a world record. <laughs> I think maybe a new category should be started to see if we can ever break the no target record ever again. It's congratulations all round for this wonderful Cro Croatian trap shooter. What a performance. Let's just have a look back at some of the events that unfolded in front of us. Oh, I wonder... I don't know, that was just photos of no targets. Perhaps was playing along. Oh, that looks good. I could do with a head massage myself, to be honest. So these were the early moments of this final. And there was just frustration that just kicked in every now and then because of the amount of no targets that were called. First of all, it happened to Giovanni Pelliello. There he is. And that was after, I think it was into the double figures of no targets. Eventually, the clay was released and he hit it. And the crowd reacted as if he'd actually won the European title. And we had that one VAR review, which was unsuccessful. Thumbs down. And for Sebastian Guerrero, 
it meant that was a miss called so lost his VAR request no other VAR request happened during that final and Chernogor actually just see now in slow motion just that huge rise and pull down of the shotgun settles in meanwhile Giovanni Pelliello with completely different style he's so much more hunched over and nose to toe as they say So it's also a good day for Sebastian Guerrero of France because it was guaranteed the quota place for the Paris Olympic Games when we go to Châteauroux next summer. And I think the Olympics is going to come around a lot quicker than perhaps a lot of us would think. And that frustration from Fabrizzi when he knew he had a chance to stay in, he had a chance to be guaranteed of a medal and just missed that one. And it meant that Sebastian Guerrero was able to carry on, not only to the medal stages, but also then to take the bronze medal. Mauro de Filippis. I mean, what could he do other than just try and hit as many targets as possible? He finished on a total of 47 out of 50, which ordinarily would usually, more than most instances, be enough to actually win you the gold medal. But it didn't happen. It was almost as if it was meant to be. Not only is it Croatia's first medal of this European Championship. I hope he's not trying to bite his ear off there. I know Mike Tyson did that once to Evander Holyfield, but I don't want that here again on the field of play. But it was just, I think, written perhaps for Chernogorac to come here, not only as world champion, but also to just... At such a composed performance as well. So patient. It was so frustrating at times. And the Croatian came through to become... Not only now world champion, but also European champion and take the gold medal. Well, thank you very much indeed for joining us for our live coverage here from Osijek. We're back tomorrow. It's the Trap Mixed Team Final. It's at 3.30 local time here in Croatia. We're all off, I think, to have a rest. Wherever you are around the world, whatever time it is, it's just coming up to the evening here. So I'll bid you good night. Cheerio, and we'll see you tomorrow.